Hey YouTube, back with another video. So I got the uh, 2012 MacBook Pro here, and the hard drive that came on this machine was a 256 solid state hard drive. Um, and I remembered that I had a external one terabyte SSD. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna copy over the OS running OpenCore Leg Legacy Patcher. Um, this is Ventura 13.2. I'm gonna clone the OS from the laptop onto the external and then boot from the external uh, to make sure everything's running smoothly before we tear this thing open and swap out the hard drives. Let's get into it. Okay, so first thing we gotta do, go up to system settings, go to general, and go to startup disk, and restart in target disk mode. It'll pop up password. And it says, are you sure you wanna restart the computer? Uh, so this was my setup that I was doing the dual screen and I pulled out the Thunderbolt cable that I was doing this with and all you gotta do is plug it right in here. Uh, now this iMac sees it as just an external disk because we are in target disk mode and disk utility. I like to just hit spotlight and type in disk utility. That should pop up. Uh, so this can get a little confusing here on the sidebar, so I like to tick all these boxes closed first to simplify things a little bit. Okay, so what we're looking at here, uh, the Mercury Electra 6GS Media. This is the uh, external uh, hard drive over here. That's the external hard drive. And then the Lexar 256 uh, Thunderbolt external physical disc. That is the MacBook and this Mac sees it as a target disk, so it just shows up as the hard drive itself. Um, so what we wanna do here, we'll flip this open. Now, Mac OS creates container disk, and then it puts multiple disks inside there. Um, this is your operating system, Ventura, all the data is in here. Uh, so I went ahead and just created a container disk. So I'll go ahead and do this again. Uh, basically, you want the disk itself, not the files underneath, and just hit uh, erase. And then we'll type, uh, we'll call this USB for now, because it's our USB. Um, and then leave it as APFS, GUID, and hit erase. Now make sure you're on the correct disk, because now that the laptop is in target disk mode, it would be very easy to just format that disk and erase your OS, and we definitely don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and partition this, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, that took a hot minute to uh, finish up the process. As you can see, it created a container disk <clears throat> and USB inside of it. So uh, down here, it's kind of the similar format, so I don't fully comprehend what these container disks are all about. And then it looks like there's another container disk here, Ventura, Ventura Data. Uh, so I tried this earlier and did get it working. So basically what you wanna do, you select your new external USB drive and you wanna click restore. Now it's gonna ask uh, restore USB. So it's basically asking uh, USB will be er erased and replaced with the data from the volume selected. So we wanna select Ventura down here. Uh, now, it has two partitions, it's Ventura Data, but uh, when I did this last time, I just selected Ventura and hit Restore. And now what this is gonna do, it's gonna take uh, Ventura, the entire disk from here, from the laptop, and copy it over to the external hard drive. And then once that's done, you, we're gonna unplug the hard drive from the iMac, plug it into the laptop, restart, and select the external device to boot from. Uh, this, we finally finished up restoring the USB drive. Uh, we copied Ventura over to the USB. Uh, so once it's done, uh, if you'll notice, we have completely cloned the drive down here. Now the container disks are named differently, but if you notice, we got Ventura and then Ventura. So Ventura, Ventura. The only th thing that I noticed is different is it puts the Ventura data uh, outside of this little tree, which is different, but it did copy over the data. So I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, we got the uh, hard drive now hooked up via USB on the side. 
we're still in target mode. Uh, to get out of this, just hold the power button. Okay, so when you restart, you just wanna hold down the option key. And this might get a little confusing at first, because uh, you'll see why. So the you're presented with three drives. The EFI boot is what allows Open Core Legacy Patcher to uh, run unsupported software. So we've got Ventura, the hard drive that is installed on the laptop, and then this is the external one that we copied over. But you can't boot directly to either of these two because you need the EFI boot uh, first. So make sure you hold down option again, and then select EFI boot. You're gonna be presented with two options again. So this is Ventura on the hard drive. This is the external. Notice the difference, internal, external. So we're gonna click that one, and now it's gonna load up the OS off of the external hard drive. So I'm just doing this to show proof, proof of concept and that you can boot it directly off of the external hard drive. Okay, that took a little while longer because we're booting from an external and you're bottlenecked through the speed of the USB drive. So even though this is a solid state hard drive, uh, USB transfer speeds are only like, I think, 400 megabits per second. So it's going to bottleneck and it's going to run a little bit slower. It's also going to run a little bit slower because uh, the Open Core Legacy Patcher EFI install and post install root patches, for whatever reason, don't transfer over. So it's going to start up and it'll pop up with an error. So Open Core, give it a few minutes and it'll pop up and say, it has detected you're running without the root patches. Would you like to install them? Uh, and then it's telling you we've detected you're running a older version, yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to hit cancel because I had issues with that open core 6.1. So we are not going to do that. What we're going to do. Um, so basically what you want to do, you want to run build and install open core. It's going to ask where you want to install it to. And you say install. And as you notice, uh, that's the internal drive where it's already installed. And even though we copied, we made an exact duplicate onto the one terabyte, for whatever reason, it did not transfer properly. So we can go ahead and do this. And the EFI partition, which is on the external, and it's gonna ask for the password. Okay. And it's asking for a reboot. So we're gonna reboot, and now when you reboot, you wanna make sure and hold down that option key again because you have to select the right drive. Remember, now we have two EFI boots, if you notice. We've got the one on the internal, the one on the external, and then Ventura. Um, so you can actually select either EFI boot, but make sure you're holding down option again. Select that one, and now you've got the other EFI boot. Hang on one second. There you go. So you've got the other EFI boot, internal, uh, internal Ventura and external Ventura. Okay, we're back up on the external. Um, and if you notice, we're still having some graphical issues down here. Uh, that's because, again, we have to reinstall OpenCore. So we built and installed OpenCore that put the partition to the EFI, uh, but Yep, ignore that again. Uh, you want the post install root patches. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, so this is gonna install the Intel Ivy Bridge graphics card. Um, and that's why you're getting some weird uh, artifacting and black dock down there because it doesn't recognize the graphics card. So this is root patching. It's gonna install all of the necessary drivers for this particular model. And it's important to do this uh, now while you still have the OS running on the laptop because if I were to uh, take this drive out, put it in here, I wouldn't be able to boot to it because that EFI partition is on the other hard drive. So if you noticed, we built and installed OpenCore, and then when we booted up a second time, there was two EFI drives. Uh, the first time, it was not showing 
that EFI drive. But now, since we built and installed OpenCore, it was showing two EFI partitions uh, because that's what OpenCore allows it to run the unsupported software. Uh, so again, it's important to do this while it's external and you still have the OS installed on here. Uh, you, you could also just put the drive in here and then go through the whole process of installing. Uh, but in my opinion, this is much quicker because you're just copying the system that's already on here over to the new drive and then slapping it in and all the patches should be done. This took me like maybe a half hour. Installing the OS takes maybe an hour. So you save a little bit of time, but just another way of doing things. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing apart, uh, take the laptop apart, and then swap out the drives. Uh, so I'll have a 256 external, and then this will be a one terabyte internal. And then uh, in another episode, I'm gonna partition the one terabyte and install Windows. So I'll have a dual boot, uh, to Ventura and Windows 10.